Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. This is a short reflection on Surah Al Qadr. Since we are in the last 10 nights of Ramadan, actually today is the 26th. So the upcoming night is the 27th. In some parts of the world, it's already the night and probably the night has already passed. But for those who are, I would say, in the Middle East, uh, in Europe, in Africa, it's still um, the again the beginning of the night or the early stages of the night and in North America it's still uh, daytime so that's an opportunity again uh, the night of the 27th according to Jumuhur, the Jumuhur, which is almost we can say the majority loosely we can say the majority of the Muslim scholars that the 27th night is Laylatul Qadr or is actually the most likely that's going to be Laylatul Qadr so it's important to pay attention to this uh, night so Surah Al Qadr and I'm trying to reflect on it as on a on a personal level. I want to find a personal connection between myself here and uh, Surah Al Qadr. So I tried to reflect on uh, on the verses of this surah uh, from that perspective. So first, Allah Subhanahu wa Taala. First thing that really caught my attention as I was seeing, because again, it's it's a, a heavily present topic now. Everyone is talking about Laylatul Qadr. Everyone uh, is striving and. Uh, trying their best to catch Laylatul Qadr and to worship Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. So this, you know, adds this personal connection or this element of personal connection. So Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, Inna anzalnahu fi Laylatul Qadr. Allah talks about the Qur'an. We sent it down. Allah didn't even mention the Qur'an. He just mentioned the pronoun, uh, which is the ha letter here in the Arabic language, which is translated as it. Because it's known that we are talking about the Qur'an. We know about the connection between the Qur'an and Laylatul Qadr. And meaning, this shows that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has singled out this night from the whole year uh, with something very special. So that means this night is very special even in the estimate of Allah. So Allah created time, Allah created the days, the nights, but they are not all equal. There's a special relationship between this night and Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Allah loves it. Allah values it and this is why he chose it to send to send down the Quran so that means this is something that Allah loves this is a night this is a time that Allah loves and you know we don't understand time or we understand a very basic concept of time we humans um, but again time has a lot of mysteries but what we can take from that is that there is something so special about this night with Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and when we are saying this night is special with Allah and when we are talking about Allah we know that what comes from Allah is only that which is good what comes from Allah is mercy is blessings is gifts is wanting good for humans so if this night is special with Allah and Allah chose his best gift the timing for his best gift to be during this night this shows a hey, this is a tremendous night and we need to value or appreciate the value of this very special night. And when Allah values something, Allah doesn't value things randomly, by the way. Allah values things according to His wisdom. So there is something so special that Allah placed in this night. And um, again, we should try to find this. We, try, we should try to sense it within ourselves that there is something so special. If we can't, at least let's even, you know, in our minds, mindfully, just keep that in mind. So, إِنَّا أَنزَلْنَاهُ فِي لَيْلَةِ الْقَدْرِ وَمَا أَدْرَاكَ مَا لَيْلَةِ الْقَدْرِ This is an Arabic expression, which is basically to show glorification, to highlight the importance, the extreme importance of something. وَمَا أَدْرَاكَ مَا لَيْلَةُ الْقَدْرِ Allah mentions it twice. لَيْلَةُ الْقَدْرِ خَيْرٌ مِّنْ أَلْفِ شَهْرٍ The night of Qadr is better than a thousand nights. Allah didn't say it's uh, than a thousand months. Allah didn't say it's equal, but Allah said it's better than a thousand months. And that's an open close. It, how, you know, according to which number, so what is exactly the value of, of this? We, we tend to follow the, you know, the level of the bottom line. Well, the bottom line is better than a thousand Year, uh, thousand months, which is about 83 years plus. But actually, it could be much more than that. Much more than that. And just speaking about, you know, proper language use and eloquence. Uh, yeah, proper, the proper use of language here. You know, 
to say it's a thousand, it's better than a thousand months or a thousand and a hundred months. No, that's not, it's not even like linguistically or in terms of balagha, eloquence, it's not really a good style. So that shows when Allah says better than a thousand months that, you know, there is tremendous value in this night. And just looking at the linguistic root of that, qadr, the word qadr means importance, means honor, means status, means privilege. And that shows hey, this night is of high importance and status with Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And here we need to take a connection to another verse in the Quran where Allah says about Laylatul Qadr, فِيهَا يُفْرَقُ كُلُّ أَمْرٍ حَكِيمٍ That in that night, every wise matter, and every matter from Allah, every decree, every wise decree is issued uh, and decided and finalized. And every decree from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is wise. So we know from the hadith of the Prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam that uh, uh, during the night of Al-Qadr, the Qadr for the subsequent year is all brought down, finalized and brought down to the nearest heaven. Um, and subhanAllah, you, Allah not only sent down the Qur'an during the night of Al-Qadr, but He also sent His Qadr, Qadr, which is His decree during that night. And this reminds us of a verse in Surah Al-Araf where Allah says, to Allah belong the creation and the revelation. The creation here has to do with Al-Qadr because Allah writes things and He creates them. So He decides them, decrees them, and then He creates them. This is the, the world, this is the life that we live. This is the reality, reality as we deal with it. Um, and there is also the revelation, Al-Amr, the command of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, His guidance, His, His legislation. So. These are the biggest gifts Allah gave humans. Uh, the, the, the guidance, the revelation, and He gave them their creation and the creation around them and existence itself. All of that is decided and finalized when? And sent down when? During Laylatul Qadr. So we're not dealing with a light matter when we are talking about Laylatul Qadr. Laylatul Qadr khayrun min alfi shahr. So this shows Allah's generosity. This shows Allah's kindness. This shows the blessings that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala bestows upon His creation. And that means, you know, this just points us to the importance of this night that we should not miss out on it no matter what. You can't afford to do that. And in the hadith, the Prophet says about Laylatul Qadr, Man hurima khayraha faqad hurim. Whoever is deprived of its of the good in it, of its blessings, then he is the truly deprived. So Laylatul Qadr, in what sense is it better than a thousand months? Which could be again, it could be probably, it's open, it could be thousands of years as well. That depends on your intention, depends on the level of your sincerity, depends on how much love of Allah that you have in your heart as you are engaging in His worship, uh, and, and so on and so forth. So it could actually be thousands of years or maybe even more than that. It's an open close, there's no limit. So we, should, we, need, we need to really seize that. But in what sense is it good than at least a thousand months? In terms of reward, that's what most of us think about, which is actually correct. But that's not the, we should not limit it only to that because Allah did not place a limit on the meaning of uh, the worth of Laylatul Qadr that is better than a thousand months. In what sense? In all respects. And that shows because you know when you do uh, engage in good in good things uh, in in um, acts of worship when you engage in anything that is pleasing to Allah that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala loves what you are doing is that you are actually transforming your heart so uh, acts of obedience acts of sin they have an impact on your heart obedience and good things are actually good for your heart and they cultivate it, they purify it, they improve it, improve it and enhance it. Sin is detrimental. Sin is a wound, is an injury, is a contamination to your heart. It's destructive, it's a destructive force. So when you engage in good, only during this night, I mean, I'm not meaning only, but let's say we're just talking about this night specifically, when the good that you engage in during this night, is worth a thousand months, is worth 80 plus years. And that means even the impact on your heart is like exponential.
And this is why a lot of personal change really happens in Ramadan. And that means if, what I, and this is what I would advise everyone, and this is, to me at least seems to be the most personal thing, is that you, know, you should seize this night if you want to really improve yourself. And the best place to start improving or changing yourself to the better is your heart. And what is the deepest thing in your heart? The central thing in your heart is the love of Allah and the, the level of sincerity you have uh, towards Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. So what I would say, if you work on that, on the love of Allah, contemplate how much you love Allah and that you want to live your life in love of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, that you want to live this life to please Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and make your way back to Him, that you want to live close to Allah eternally in paradise. And that's what you're going to dedicate your life to. That's what you're going to use your life for. If you really contemplate that and drill it down into your system during this night, I'm sure it's the impact on your heart, on your soul, on your nafs is going to be doubled more than a thousand. Again, the same kind, the same by the same ratio that the night of Al-Qadr presents. And don't forget, this is a night where Allah has given His most precious bless blessings. Actually, all the blessings, because when you're talking about the most precious blessing is the revelation, the guidance from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And that is the, the gift that is most indicative of Allah's mercy. But most people don't appreciate that. They don't see the connection. Because the most precious things humans have or have been given is to know their Lord, to know the path to their Lord, and also to be inspired to seek that path and take the path that leads to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And then the second gift is actually everything else. It's the creation. All of that was, is in, is in what? Laylatul Qadr. Laylatul Qadr. So Laylatul Qadr is special. There is, it is a special time for Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And this is why He made it special for us. And He opened this secret. He, he, he disclosed this secret to us so that we utilize it. So I really encourage you to seize it uh, and uh, don't waste any, any time when it comes to this night. Uh, ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala sincerely to help you catch it and utilize it. And um, hopefully, inshallah, it will be a new beginning for, for yourself, uh, a new beginning that would set you on the path that leads to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, that is full of love of Allah and also fear of Allah's punishment. And this kind of yearning to meet Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and make it safely to Him. So I just wanted to share these uh, reflections with you and hope you will find them beneficial. And hopefully they, they would at least inspire you to really seize this night and benefit from it. And don't forget, uh, I'm, 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 uh, I'm, I'm recording this again uh, during the 22nd, uh, 26th day here in, uh, in North America. So we still have the 27th night, we have the 20, uh, 29th night, we still have the 28th night and maybe the 30th night. So uh, do all you can, be sincere and ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala for the best. Jazakumullah khairan wa alaykum wa rahmatullah.